now we have to figure out where the ride share pickup is. We are gonna use Lyft this trip instead of a rental car, which is new to us. He said it's level two, door two, so we're gonna find that. All right, that was quick. It only took about 10 minutes to get our luggage. All right, it says level two, which we're on, and then take this bridge across to the parking garage and get a lift from there. All right, this is the lift and Uber. He just literally clicked in and it said two minutes. So these are all people waiting for lifts or Ubers. First time we've done this, pretty cool. Apparently everyone does it. <laughs> everyone. <laughs> All right, so that lift was perfect. The lady was super nice. What, we didn't even wait five minutes for it. No. We're here in less than 10 minutes at the Bellagio. I doubt our room is ready, but we're gonna go check. We are gonna, it's the next day. So we only used lift once yesterday because everything else was walkable, but today we're gonna take a lift to the Fremont Street area. We're at the Bellagio. All right, so this is the Uber Lyft area pickup. See, there's already some cars waiting for people. We have not booked ours yet. If you book it too early and you take too long, they charge you an extra fee. And there has never really been a big wait, so. We are walking towards the Mott Museum since it's only like a five minute walk from that. The D, I just wanted to mention the lift. Um, we had a lift within five five minutes so that was cool just saying that so far so between lyft and uber we have both apps and we're just always like price shopping lyft has been cheaper than uber so we've only used lyft so far all right we're right here at the d that's what this is called the d i'm trying to show a sign it's just called the d the d las vegas and um, <laughs> the Uber is right here, like right where the valley is. I'm just pointing it out because every hotel that where you, the Lyft and the Uber pickup is in a different spot. And then I'm gonna give a summary at the end of this as how much money we spent, but the prices for Lyft and Uber are constantly changing depending on need and demand. So it's not really like a set price, it just depends. Um, but we haven't, really, we haven't spent more than like $16 a ride so far. So I'd say that's pretty darn good. All right, taking rideshare for the last time. This is, we're going to the airport. I'm telling you, I love rideshare. Just, it's just so convenient. And we've never had to wait more than like, I'm just gonna say a couple minutes. Cause I don't even think we've waited five minutes. It says five minutes and then the guy was there in like two seconds, so, or two minutes. So definitely recommend it. All right, we are back in St. Louis and I just wanted to uh, do a quick summary of our experience with Lyft. Um, I mentioned in one of my getting ready to go to Vegas video that we were deciding, we have both the Lyft app and the Uber app. And so really, I'm just gonna say this is for Vegas because every state is different. So for Vegas, in our opinion, Lyft and Uber is definitely worth it. Um, we always use Lyft. Um, because he opened both apps and Lyft was always cheaper. The rates are constantly changing depending on the time of day, on the demand. Um, we never waited more than like five minutes. And we did not like, I guess you can like pre-book your like trips, like your requests, but we always requested on the spot, meaning at our hotel, we would get to the Lyft pickup. He would open the app and request it. And once he requested it, it was always less than five minutes. I just mentioned that because some people will like request it when they're up in their room. And if it takes you like more than, if the waiter, if the, what'd you say, five minutes? If the driver is waiting for more, more than five minutes for you to get to the car, then there's an extra fee charge. So. I think they may actually leave. I didn't look at the fine print on You didn't it, see the fine so print. I'm not absolutely sure, but I know that I was getting a little concerned. Yeah. I couldn't, because there were so many cars. Yeah, at the airport, Holy there was cow. tons of it and we couldn't figure out which one was ours because all the, they're, they're, they tell you the make and model of the vehicle, but honestly, they all look the same. They Pretty, all they all the look the same. Like. Um, very similar. They're not, everyone has a typical sedan, silver, whatever. I don't, everyone looks, not a sedan, but you know, 
I'm not a car person, but let me just tell you that all, all the cars look the same. And then Las Vegas is one of those states where you don't have to have a license plate up front. Some, most cars did, but some didn't. So then they tell you their license plate number so you don't have to walk behind the car to see if it, but that was the only complaint. But it's not really a complaint. That's just for you to know. Um, maybe get familiar with your car brands. <laughs> but anyway. I don't know how you get around that. Honestly. I don't know how you get around it because they, it's just, it worked it's, out. It's not a problem anywhere except the airport is when it gets a little Yeah, busy. it was, we always knew who our, who our driver was when they pulled up except for the airport. And we're just saying that because there was like 20 cars waiting There's for people. Um, but anyway, long story short, I recommend Lyft. I will try, you know, maybe we'll try Uber again. It's whoever is cheaper. But I'm saying this is a right recommendation for Las Vegas. Because let me give you an example. We are back in St. Louis. And we, ha we have a car. So we parked our car at the parking garage. So we are 20 minutes from the airport. And it, if he looked up the, just for the, you know, just to be curious, if we were to take a lift back home from the airport, it was $56. So in Las Vegas, a lift to the airport, um, to the hotel was $18. And it was, it was... I don't know. I don't know that the miles was that big of, was that much difference. Maybe it took like 12 minutes to get from the airport to our hotel. And here in St. Louis, it would like take like 20 minutes. So I don't really consider that big of a difference, like mileage wise, but cost $56 compared in St. Louis compared to what do we say? $18. And that's with tip in Vegas. So when I say Lyft, like I recommend it, I can only say I recommend it for Las Vegas. Um, when we go back to like Florida, to the beach, we'll get a rental car because we are gonna go to different places. But if we go to Disney again, then we probably would use Lyft. Because once you're at Disney, you really don't need to go anywhere. And there's been several times that we'll get a rental car and we never use it except to and from the airport. So when that- For parking. And, and you pay for parking. Yeah. And we never use the rental car. So it just, I guess it really depends where you're going. Las Vegas, everything is very close together. So you don't really need a rental car. Disney, everything's close together. You really don't need a Disney, uh, rental car. So it really just depends on your situation. If you plan on driving to Lake Mead, that's a different story. Yeah, yeah. Like, because you can't, I mean, a cost a lift to Lake Mead would probably be ridiculous. Yes. But, um, yeah. So I'm, I'm rambling enough. This is... I should have been home an hour and a half ago and I'm tired, but I was very impressed with Lyft and, and every driver we had was super nice. Yep. I did not feel uncomfortable. Um, it was so easy. And I just mentioned that because we've been to Vegas before a one trip where we used taxi drivers and it was uncomfortable. You tried scamming us. <laughs> and we got, they tried, well, we did get scammed. Yeah, we did get, get scammed. And so I never felt like that with Lyft. And no cash exchanges hands when you use the Lyft driver. It's all on your phone. It's all like paid, you know, with the account you set up. Whatever price they tell you is the price well, it's going to be unless so, you add yes. like a stop to it or you decide you're, you're going somewhere else. Yeah. So, um, like sorry, my windshield is dirty. I just, I would have the camera facing me, but you wouldn't see me because it's dark. Um, so yeah. I recommend Lyft. Um, I'm sure Uber is fine. There was plenty of people using Uber. It's just this trip, Uber was always more expensive than Lyft. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons and we will see you later. All right, one more addition to my Lyft video. Um, the, if we would have got a rental car, it would have been $189, something like that. And then plus that we would have had to pay parking $30 every night at the Bellagio. Um, so we, this was a comparison. Was it cheaper for a rental car or to do Lyft? We only spent $97 for Lyft. The, all of the trips together plus tip was $97. So yes, absolutely. Using Lyft was way cheaper than getting a rental car for Las Vegas. I will, won't use a rental car again for Las Vegas. We do want to go to like Hoover Dam again. Um, Robert will research it. He said there's like, you know, tour buses and stuff where they'll take you to the dam for the day or whatever. That's probably what we would do in the future. I just don't like driving in Vegas. But yeah, it was, it saved us over $160 by using Lyft.